Oh, brother. No, 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 no. Pickle. I got a bad feeling about this. Glad you can make it. We're starting out with a Pikachu drink. So, Pikachu, I'm ready. Pika, pika. Oh, it's Detective Pikachu. Seems like you're out to solve a, another mystery. Pika, pika. Oh, okay. Well, uh, do you have your ingredients with you? Pika, pika. Uh, wait a second. What's this? It's just a black piece of paper. Is it supposed to say something? Pika, pika. In order to read this, uh, I guess I need a, a flashlight? Pikachu. Oh, a flashlight! Yeah, this should be helpful. Uh, let's see here. I guess like this? Oh, that's clever! So this is how you keep your ingredients a uh, secret. So, we need frozen raspberries half a bowl, frozen mangoes half a bowl, and Moco Frappuccino Coffee? Okay. Uh, whoa, what's this over here? Is this Mr. Mime? Oh, yeah, I remember him from the movie. Now, there's probably more up here. Uh, one second. I need to bring the flashlight to the top. Uh, oh, it's a Psyduck. Yeah, Psyduck always has a terrible headache. And, oh, is this the rest of the ingredients? Mini Cherry Coke, and Mini Canada Dry, and a frozen acai quarter package? Oh, okay. Well, before we get the ingredients, we need to design the bottle. So, actually, this design is not gonna be on a drink can. Instead, it will be placed onto a rectangular-shaped drink carton. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So yeah, of course, we need to draw Pikachu on the front. He's pretty adorable, especially with his detective hat. However, even though he's cute, you don't want to mess with Pikachu. He's very powerful, especially with his electrical bolt attack. Now, let's call this Pikachu Soda. Well, it's partially soda. It will have a lot of other things mixed in with it too. Now, we just need to quickly color this all in. We'll need some brown for his hat. Oh, and some red for his cheeks. His fur is mostly yellow, but there's a tad of brown in there too. Actually, the Detective Pikachu movie did a great job with Pikachu's fur. It looked very realistic. In fact, all of the Pokemon in that movie looked pretty good. Just need to fill in these lightning bolts that are coming out of the words, and this design looks really cool. Pika, pika. For the design on the back, I'm using these large bottle caps to make a circle for a magnify glass. It goes with the whole detective theme. And the magnify glass, it will be examining a Pokemon ball. Next, we're drawing a Bulbasaur. We see quite a few of these in the movie. They carry this seed on their back, which grows. And they really like napping in bright sunlight. I guess it helps them to recharge and store energy. And up here, we have Jigglypuff, which is quite fun to play as in Super Smash Bros. Jigglypuff can deflate until it is flat or suck in a bunch of air and float. And all we need to do is fill this all in. I'm excited to see how this looks. I feel like if this was sold in stores, it would really catch people's attention. I know in Japan they have some Pokemon sodas, but I haven't seen any Detective Pikachu sodas. I got this yellow carton. Let's see if this works. Sweet! Yeah, it seems to fit pretty well. We have the ingredients on this side, and I think the back really adds to the overall design. We also have Charizard. Yeah, I needed one more Pokemon. Well, this is definitely a unique container for soda. Let's get these ingredients. I got a Cherry Coke and a Canada Dry, and these are the mini cans. I actually like these drinks, so I'm curious to find out how these taste mixed together. Oh, now I like how that sounds. Very bubbly. Hopefully this is the right amount. Oh yeah, and I have this new handheld mixer. You're gonna wanna see how this works in the next drink. Okay, back to the ingredients. So this is a frozen acai, or at least I think that's what it's called. It looks like a fruit popsicle. Now I just need a little part. Oh, raspberries? Well, these are pretty tasty. Hopefully they mix well with the drink. <laughs> Now, mangoes, this is like turning into a weird fruit soda. Uh, what? 
Now for the coffee, a Starbucks Frappuccino. I don't really understand why this is one of the ingredients. I'm gonna have to have a little sip though. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good. I really hope this doesn't ruin the rest of the drink. I guess detectives need to drink a lot of coffee. Just like one more second. <sighs> Here it is, hopefully. This doesn't overflow. It's like a dark purple color. I think the frozen acai made it this color. I do like the container shape. It's very different from the other drinks that I've done. Well, Detective Pikachu, here it goes. Mm. <coughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's not what I was expecting at all. It's surprisingly mild, which is not a bad thing. It actually tastes like a slightly flavored seltzer water. So I guess it's kind of like a soda, but instead of being really sweet though, it's more of a bubbly fruit drink. So it's probably a lot healthier for you to drink than most sodas. I'll give this a seven and a half out of 10. Okay, so for this next one, I need to get prepared. So this might look pretty ridiculous, but you'll understand in just a second. I have this yellow beanie, which is actually pretty comfortable. I also have these goggles. They like you a lot more when you kind of look like them. It makes it easier for negotiations. I think that should do. Okay, minions, I'm ready. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Uh, good to see you. Yeah, of course. I, I can do that as long as you have the ingredients. I know you minions really like food and it seems like you're always making something, so this should be interesting. Minion juice? Okay, Sunny D, applesauce, ice cream, banana, raspberry jelly, whipped cream. Okay, uh, well, first, before we do this, we need to design the bottle. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and call this Minion Juice. And this design is gonna be placed on a thin, tall bottle. So I need more of a vertical layout. And I'm gonna draw the three Minions stacked on top of each other. Now, from what I know from the Minions movie, Minions have been around for a long time, like thousands of years. And they've had many different masters of the years, most of them being villains with Gru being their newest master. Now, since Minions have been around for so long, I'm sure they've had plenty of time to make a really good tasting drink and get the perfect combination of ingredients. I know there's certain foods that they really enjoy, so I have some pretty high expectations for the taste of this drink. Well, actually, now thinking about it, Minions, they can be kind of clumsy. They don't always make the best decisions, so I don't really know what to expect. Actually, there's a lot that we don't even know about the Minions. I'm curious as to like, why do they wear goggles? Is it because they need to see clearly or is it to protect their eyes? Too bad I can't speak Minion. Here is the bottle. I painted it yellow to go with the whole Minions theme. Let's put it on. Oh my, actually this turned out pretty good. I'm sure that anyone who likes the Minions would most likely want to buy this if they saw it at a store. Or at least make them curious as to what it tastes like. Oh, I'm excited for this drink. This time we're mixing things up a little differently and we're starting with some Sunny D. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This looks like something the Minions would drink. And uh, applesauce? I haven't had one of these in years. Actually, I don't really like applesauce. It's just kind of weird. Now, they wanted this type of ice cream, probably because of the banana. There's an entire scene in the movie where the minions, they eat ice cream, so this makes sense. The list said to use about uh, half a container. This looks really good. I'll have to eat the rest of this ice cream later. Oh yeah, and these things. Yep, this wouldn't be a minion drink without the bananas. The minions themselves kind of look like bananas and they go nuts for them, which is good because bananas are healthy. A jelly? Of course, the minions build an entire factory designated to making jelly, so just a spoonful. Uh, whipped cream? Yeah, this is usually with their ice cream. 
they like a lot of it, so mm, that should be perfect. I have no idea if this will even work. Hopefully it doesn't, whoa, splatter everywhere. Uh, I think you use it like this. Oh, it's working. This is actually pretty effective. It mixes it pretty well. Just need our minion bottle now. Hopefully I don't pour too much. It's always hard to tell sometimes how much is going into the bottle. Let's see, uh, oh, the consistency is very smooth and it smells pretty good. Just a little bit more and uh, that should be enough. Well, let's do this. <sighs> now, I'm assuming that Gru has also drank this, right? Oh, really? Well, there's only one way to find out. That's very drinkable. It tastes great. Yay! Out of all your test drinks, this is an excellent choice. It's sweet and creamy, and most importantly, I can taste the banana. I'll have to give this juice a, a nine out of 10. Actually, I think you guys should start mass producing this. Like, you could start an entire factory and have an assembly line. Just imagine if this was in every grocery store. Uh, is there something wrong with my goggles? Oh, wait, where are you guys going? Guys, come back! Oh, uh, wait, what? Oh, no. There's something wrong with my face. Uh, wait, okay, stop the camera. Uh. <sighs> well, thankfully I was able to get all of that yellow off. Apparently I was the minion's test subject. They didn't even tell me. I guess they're still trying to work out all of the side effects to that drink. I guess, uh, what the? Okay. All right. Oh, no way. Tails? Knuckles? Wait, what are you guys doing here? This just doesn't make any sense. Sonic. Oh, you can't find Sonic? That's really weird. Yeah, I haven't seen him recently. Actually, I have no idea where he is. I got a bad feeling about this. So, is there anything I can do for you guys while you're here? Only you can do this. Oh, of course. Uh, wait a second. Is this a Tails and Knuckles drink? Yes! Well, I did make a Sonic Energy drink, so I guess it makes sense to make a... What? Whoa. 2X Energy says Yellow Powerade, Red Powerade, Yogurt, Popsicles, a Fruit Bowl, Palm Juice? Bingo! Whoa. Uh, I'm very curious to see how this turns out. Here we go, yeah. I think this is a really cool idea. Now, Knuckles has super strength and two spike-like knuckles on each of his hands. He uses these to dig with and climb walls. And Tails, he has these two fluffy tails that he uses to fly through the air uh, by rotating them like helicopter blades. That way he can travel incredibly fast. Now, let's call this drink 2X Energy because it's two energies combined into one drink. It's a good combination. Yeah, Knuckles, oh, he's such a cool character. He's a guardian of the Master Emerald, which is this powerful ancient relic. He's very experienced at swimming, and he's a treasure hunter. He's not as fast as Sonic, but he seems to have more special movement abilities, like fighting moves. He can even catch the hair under his dreadlocks and glide. What's really crazy though, is that he's been known to punch the ground so hard that it's caused tremors and even small volcanic eruptions. And of course there's Tails, who's just amazing. He's an absolute genius when it comes to mechanics and technology, and his fighting abilities with his tail are actually very impressive. What's really incredible about Tails is that he can pretty much build anything. In fact, he's constructed different vessels that can travel to between dimensions. 
and his airplanes and vehicles, they've saved Sonic and Knuckles many times. I mean, Sonic is very lucky to have these two as his friends. Well, here's the can. Let's do this. Oh, it's perfect. The yellow and red energy bolts in the background really add a lot to the design. Let's go ahead and get the ingredients. Now, for the Sonic drink, we had blue Powerade, but for this drink, we've got yellow and red Powerade mixed together. As you'll see, most of these ingredients are either yellow or red, like lemon yogurt and strawberry yogurt. Seems like the red color is more dominant, but I'm sure we'll be able to taste the yellow flavors too. And we've got popsicles. This will make it a nice cold drink. If I can just get it off the stick. Oh, wow. These are already melting really fast. My hands are all sticky. Okay, just need two red popsicles. These will really make this drink sweet. And it will probably be great to have this on a hot day. I know that this would definitely energize me. Now for a bowl of fruit, which has cantaloupe, melon, watermelon. Oh, wow. Fruit is always, oh, whoops, just splattered everywhere. Well, there's the rest of the bowl. Now, I think this next ingredient is quite unusual. It's palm? Uh, pomegranate juice? I've never even tried this stuff before. I guess this is good for your heart. Uh, that should be enough. Well, let's blend this all up. Oh, wow. This is like turning pink. We just need to make sure all the big fruit pieces get blended up. Oh, that looks a lot better. This reminds me of bubble gum. It kind of smells like it too. Well, 2x energy, let's fill you up. I have to say, this is probably the best looking liquid so far. The consistency is excellent. Well, it's time to experience 2x energy. <sighs> Here it goes. Okay, it's very similar to Powerade, except it's a lot sweeter. It's like, oh, whoa. What? It definitely gives you an energy boost. I think my heart's beating faster. The popsicles in this makes it taste really good. Oh boy, I'd have to give this an eight and a half out of 10. Yeah! All right, not too bad. Well, thanks for the drink. I know you guys have to go find Sonic, so, uh, Tails, Knuckles, good luck. Uh, hopefully I'll see you later. That was great! All right, here we go! I guess that's all of the drinks. I'm pretty happy with how they all turned out, uh, except for that minion side effect. Anyways, I just need to get these drinks to the fridge. Oh no, Th that's, that's Sonic EXE, evil Sonic. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I don't want anything to do with you or whatever's on that list. Uh, I'm done with drinks for today. Uh, no, I haven't seen them. No, Tails and Knuckles, no, they didn't come through here. I haven't seen them. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Just, just wait a second. I know what you're capable of. How about this, we make a deal. If I do your drink, then you promise to leave me alone and you won't go after Tails and Knuckles. <laughs> okay, so it's a deal then. I mean, I've tasted some pretty bad drinks before and I survived those, so I think I can handle this. Uh... Wait, what? Are you serious? How can you do this to someone? <laughs> oh man, so as far as I know, the first time Sonic EXE appeared was in this like glitched corrupted CD-ROM of the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. When you first start out playing the game, it seems pretty normal. 
But after a while, you start to notice really odd things. You start out as plain as tails, but when you enter the first level, you quickly realize that something really bad is going on. The environment is destroyed, and there are dead animals on the ground. Then you see Sonic in the distance, but it's not the Sonic that we know. Instead, it's the exact opposite of Sonic, an evil looking Sonic with red eyes. It's very disturbing, and when Tails gets closer to Sonic EXE, well, I'll spare you the details, but Tails uh, doesn't make it. And in the next level, you play as Knuckles, and it's a similar situation. You have to fight evil Sonic, but Sonic EXE just teleports around you, making it nearly impossible to defeat him. Then Sonic uses his sharp claws and, well, Knuckles also perishes to this pure evil monster. It's such a twisted game. Well, here's the bottle. It's actually quite large. What? This is as creepy as the bendy drink. It looks like the evil Sonic gashed his claws across this. There's probably only a few people who would be brave enough to actually buy this. And wait, warning? Yeah, there should be a warning. This stuff is definitely not for everyone. I don't even know if the Sonic fans would like this drink because it's making Sonic look evil. And this is what was on his ingredients. Mountain Dew, V8 Spicy, Beef Broth, Hershey Cocoa, Peppers, Perrier, ugh. Oh no, I really shouldn't do this. So here's the Mountain Dew. Actually, this stuff is all right. I mean, I would drink this. I just wish Mountain Dew was the only ingredient on the list. No, not this stuff. V8? And it's the spicy hot version. I can't even stand the smell of this stuff and I'm not good with hot tasting things. Oh, what? Beef broth? Is this what you cook animals in? I need a can opener. It's so black, like tar or something. Uh, maybe a spoonful? Oh, why can't Sonic EXE have good tasting ingredients? Why is it all bad? Oh, Hershey cocoa. Oh, but it's the unsweetened kind. This tastes awful without sugar. Like try eating a spoonful of this and you'll know what I mean. Uh, peppers? Oh, I really hope these are not the hot peppers, because if they are, I might not even be able to swallow this drink. Like, I'm just starting to sweat just thinking about this. Peppers should not be drinkable. Uh, air, air. I've tried this stuff before. All I remember is that I took one sip and I didn't like it at all. It's a really weird mineral water. I really want to blend this up, so I'm not leaking out of the sides. Uh, I really hope this doesn't make me sick. Then again, there have been some drinks that I thought would taste bad that turned out to be pretty normal, so I've got my fingers crossed. Well, for the most part, it seems to have blended pretty well. Oh, but that smell, oh, it's horrible. From a business perspective, this drink would not do well. The only people that would buy this would be pranksters or people who follow the Sonic EXE who wanna just spread evil. Uh, you know what, since this is your drink, there's really no need for me to waste it on myself. Uh, I think, uh... Okay, we'll, we'll do it your way then. Uh, oh, brother. iron-like taste. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can taste the peppers. It's not as hot as I thought it would be, but it definitely has a spicy taste. Oh, I can feel it in my nose. <laughs> uh, I all feel so weird. Should I even give this a rating? I mean, I have to give it like a, a one out of 10. <laughs> You evil Sonic! Your drink, it tastes horrible! Is that the whole point of your drink? Just to taste bad? 
you know what? Not only is the real Sonic better than you, but, uh, oh, uh, wait, <sighs> what's going on? Uh. <laughs> wait, what? Is this some type of allergic reaction? It's like the bendy drink, but uh, I'm growing blue fur? <laughs> It's like I'm turning into some weird version of Sonic, or... Oh no. I don't want to turn into that thing. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh... <laughs> uh my teeth! It's like they're growing! Wait, they're sharp! Uh, oh no! Wait a second. The tail's a knuckles drink. That might work. Wait, where did it go? Uh, oh, come on. This better work. <laughs> come on, 2X Energy. This has to do something. <laughs> oh no, come on, uh, I think the Sonic EXE drink is too powerful. Wait a second. It, it's starting to go away. It, it's actually working. <laughs> oh, it's almost all gone. But, oh, I only have a little bit left. Oh, come on. Disappeared. The Tails and Knuckles drink did it. <laughs> your drink can't defeat 2X Energy. Yeah, your drink is useless. Get out of here. You'll never be better than the real Sonic, and you'll never be faster than him either. Yeah, never come back here. <sighs> well. It took every last drop of this 2X energy to get rid of whatever that Sonic EXE drink was doing to me. And it seems like Sonic EXE must have just teleported away. Uh, oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix these ingredients. He just ripped them to shreds. Well, at least the evil Sonic is gone now. I, uh, oh no. Tails and Knuckles. I need to warn them. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to see my newest videos as soon as possible. And let me know which of these drinks you liked best or which of these drinks you would try. You guys are the best. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.